We're back for another special episode of the Little Old Sons podcast. Uh, we'll finish off intros here in a second, but um, we just cover a lot of topics here. We talk about Carlos's recent path through recovery. Um, what else do we talk about? Volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The Rodeo Time volleyball team coming up. Horse races. Yeah. Horse races. Yeah, Western Heritage Days. Western Heritage Days. Do a little. We did a little traveling this last weekend. Uh, we talk about some events that we'd like to try. Uh, for the interns, talk about that, and um, man, just life in general, mm -hmm. yeah, just some good people having good times, right? Isn't that what it's all about? Oh yeah, it is, Cole. Right, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, Cole. <laughs> I wish we did just like I don't know. I wish we had a, I wish we had a, a public, you know, like a public um, access television show. Oh, that'd be awesome. You know, where it's just hello. Welcome once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to rodeo time. You ever feel sad? Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel sad and just want to forget everything and get on a bull? Well, <laughs> welcome. I think we could do it. All right. I'll write that one down. I'll write that one down. But until then, thanks again for listening. And uh, yeah. To welcome to the podcast. And we're live to another Fantastic episode of the Little Old Sons podcast. We've got the flea market here in the studio. Willie Wardle, Kevin Wayne Reed, Carson Carson Sanders, trying to hold a seat down, and Carlos De La Cruz. Yes, sir. Got everybody here. Good to have you guys. feel like it's been almost 10 minutes since I saw you last. What's your name? It's been oh, that's right. I'm the Cole Snyder. Yep. Your Face. first name's the? Yep, sure is. That's what's mm. up. Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Get away! From me. Get away from me! <laughs> um, been an exciting week. Well, actually, not really. DB's been gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not really. It's been a pretty lame week. No, it's 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 been good. Welcome to my life. Yeah. Oh yeah, Carlos is Carlos has been laid up on the man with his broken leg. How's your rehab coming? Man, it's going great. Today I started driving. We're Just working out now. The new Oh, yeah. Weight. Look at that. Well, you could have been working your upper body this whole time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I was in some serious pain. Oh, yeah. We'll disagree to disagree. Um, anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. I have, I've got my freedom back. That's good. Yeah, you can drive. Where are you going first? Your mom's house, but oh, just a, <laughs> just up for a thirty-six hour drive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <The king. laughs> ah, what can I say? Yeah, that's uh, all right. Well, so you were saying something about uh, doing volleyball. Oh yeah, we're trying to get a team together, so we're gonna play sand volleyball and we're gonna practice next door. Got it. Got it set up. Beach volleyball. How often? First of all, I'm upset that I didn't even know that this was in the planning stages. How long have we, have you guys known about this volleyball? It's been a whole, like, three days. Yeah. What? Miss Lisa mentioned Oh, Miss Lisa's it, playing. Yeah. Is she, Miss Lisa's There's team. nothing official yet. We're just, we're going to do it. Well, we're officially announcing it on yeah. the internet. So, well, yeah. So yeah. there's that. Uh, if you got any, well, what, what's your ideas for team names? The Barachos. The Barachos? The Mapaches. The Mapaches. The Rats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Winnebago Fire Department. We need to make a volunteer fire department, WVFD. The wackiest fire department in Texas. <laughs> do, do, do. Don't know if dad's going to like that one. Yeah, don't, dad well, I don't like think that dad's one. playing, so. You don't think DB would play in a volleyball? I think he would. I, I think we know. got enough for two teams. I think if it was a scheduled, like we play every Tuesday, he wouldn't do we it. We can play each other. he wouldn't other. be able to make it. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, can play we have enough to play each other for us. I mean, there's going to be other teams. Is there like a cash prize? When we're, when we're, when we're practicing, is yeah. what I'm saying. Is there a bracket that we have to... According to Miss Lisa, know, it's a whole winning. tournament. We're just winning. That's I wish I there was, man, if there was a ball sport that I wish there was a league, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like baseball, you know, all that. Uh, I wish there was a dodgeball league in town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. i get down with some dodgeball. Or some wiffle ball. To. Or wiffle ball. Yep. You know, I've been pushing for wiffle ball he has. for a long time around here. Just one day. Just a sick day of wiffle ball tournament. It's got to happen. It'd be pretty, yeah. We can do it after work. We can do it tonight. We don't Wiffle, have, Wiffle ball will be fine. No. Do we have? Yeah. Do we have anything? Is anybody? Is anybody going no. to batting practice? Miss Lisa has all the stuff for it. She bought it. We were going to do it like a month ago on a Sunday for volleyball or wiffle ball. Wiffle, wiffle ball. ball. Oh. And then the Sunday came and nobody said anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that the that Saturday before is when Carlos broke his leg. Oh yeah. Oh, Was it? It's my pretty oh. sure. Yeah. 
thought it was great work, longer. Carlos. Yeah, it's yeah. all Carlos's fault. Getting your leg broken, <laughs> almost sure. ruined. What day of the week was that? I don't know. Yeah, was, was, was it a Saturday? I don't know. I erased that a, from my memory. Yeah, good. Was it a school night? I can't remember. Speaking of broken legs, though, the horse race. Yeah. At Western Heritage Days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh yeah. We don't. Well, it was a it was a really good race. A lot of horses did and really it won. good. It won. Uh, and I made a horse. lot of money. A lot of horses did really, really well. Uh might have been one horse that stumbled a little on the way down, but stumbled from all the recent legs. reports, they're doing just fine. Yeah. Uh, it, it got up and walked onto a trailer. Oh yeah. Well then it'll probably That's be. That's what all they right. said. Anyway, yeah, we went to Western Heritage Days on Saturday. Yeah. And that was a good time. They had a bunch of vendors. There was a ranch rodeo. Jake Hooker played, I think. We didn't stay for that. Oh, I didn't even know he played. Yeah. Dang. I wanted to see him play, but yeah. it was getting late, and we wanted to get home. And then I think Willie traded a saddle for some leggings, right? Kevin spent like 40 bucks on hot dogs. Hey, I bought. You were a hungry little cowboy when you got there. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I do love hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. I bought some Raspers off a guy from Missouri, which was cool. Cause oh, I don't know. He's also from Missouri. Yeah. Dang, yeah. I didn't even think there were cowboys from there. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of spur makers, though, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Carlos bought probably the coolest spurs I've ever seen. Carl, yeah, those are those are pretty sweet. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Uh, what do they got? A roadrunner and a coyote on them? And yeah. Yeah. Like an inlaid one. That one was pretty sweet. And then, like, prickly pair of cactuses all around it. Dude, the pair that I wanted, I saw a pair, but they were pretty They were pretty top dollar spurs. Um, and I was looking at them thinking, surely I have enough money for these. And they said, stay cool on them. Like she's on either oh, side, wow. it was, but in like in, in actually the font, like one of those old uh, stay ranching or just ranching one, of, and it was in that font on on these spurs. That's I dope. Thought, Surely I have enough money for these. And I said, Sir, how much of these? I was expecting a couple of hundred bucks or whatever. And he goes, Oh, it's just on the inside. It was like a forty five hundred dollar pair of spurs oh, that I was holding. God. Yeah, that 4, was five hundred. That was tough. Those Navajos that we saw, just those yeah. spur straps were like. Yeah, it's insane. Which I mean, bucks. it's quality. You get what you pay for, yeah. for sure. Um, those spurs they last a long time. They look. What was on the spur straps to make them? They were just really nice spur straps. Yeah. They, had, they had silver inlaid in them and stuff, mm. and they were they were and they were tooled out. They were pretty. They were pretty fancy spur straps. Um, I one day, cool spurs, but I don't see the straps. Yeah, the straps are gonna yeah. wear out. Why? I used Ooh. to. <laughs> I just walk around in mud. To yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they get dirty. I bought the spurs, and then Leroy's helping me make a pair of. Yeah, straps for myself. Carson is actually incredibly talented with a swivel knife, which uh, I'm impressed. You I, should, I, I you. should see Kevin. Really? He's tooling a no. belt. Ah. Yeah. He knifed no. like three quarters <laughs> of a belt last night and looked so good. You tooled, <laughs> you almost tooled he the knifed, whole belt? He knifed oh. it. Yeah, just knifed it because Donnie broke mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> did Tell that him what happen? happened. So Donnie, Pull it in close. Donnie goes on tangents. He throws fits, and it can get out of hand, you know. And I'm just laying on the ground because it's hot. I'm just laying in the shade, right? He comes up, decides he wants to pick me up by my belt. I get about a <laughs> foot off the ground, and it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to give me one of his super cool belts. Yeah, Didn't but it, let him do it. Well, first of all, that belt is made for a toddler, by the the one that he tried to give you. Did that fit around your waist? I don't know. It, it, because it's a nice belt. It fit it's a nice belt. Oh, no, I'm not saying it's yeah. not a nice belt. I'm just saying it's it's really narrow. Willie's, yeah. We're well on our way to making our own now. Okay. <laughs> hey, yeah. that'd, that'd be awesome. It's fun, though. Yeah. yeah like, I really cool. enjoy I just kicked Carlos's leg on oh. accident. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's oh. all right. You got to make it tougher, man. You got to push the limits. Otherwise, you won't get healed. I was like, <laughs> I didn't think <laughs> just about of to it. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. It's in a cast. <laughs> Surely. Could. Did you ever break an arm as a kid and like have that arm yeah. cast and you could wield it? Uh-huh. Oh, like, kids like, did. Once you're yeah. almost like yeah. your arm yeah. is nothing's hurting anymore, and now you just have this weapon. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember breaking uh breaking. I broke my thumbs a bunch, and I always had that cast. And that was during the years I was playing wall ball, and oh, that yeah. cast came in pretty handy. For, uh, oh, I didn't win, but, you know, it was more fun. I thought I was going to be. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? I broke my thumb a lot because I remember I had to get it wrapped for football. Mm-hmm. And um, I caught more passes because, obviously, I wasn't a running back or a, a wide receiver. But I caught more passes and interceptions with a club one-handed. <laughs> 
than I ever did actually trying to catch footballs. <laughs> like I swear, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was crazy. But yeah, I just remember always having just this club, and uh, yeah, I, I, I played a lot of football one handed. Eh, I had to stop. I had to stop. I was never that good. Me neither. Carlos, are you gonna start? Yeah, are you gonna just start like kickboxing or anything? <laughs> no, I'm you not know, gonna start kickboxing. I, I don't know. I think you should start walking with a cane. Not even necessarily. You should be that cool guy that like walks around with a cane. Pimping cane. Yeah, a sword cane. You never know. Somebody's like, oh, you need that, ba- you know, cut a bale or whatever. Oh, you yeah. just have a sword. Dude, think about Change it. Change my name to Cane. Yeah. That's eh, a little too far, but no, no I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> no. You know, just stick with getting one. If yeah. you know, <laughs> if you, know you know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be your entire personality. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you're going to walk around with a cane. If you're going to walk around with a cane. Oh, no, no. And it's not need cane. one. Yeah, C- you, C-A-I-N-E, not C-A-N-E. Like oh, a chicken place? Raisin, you're talking, like raisin canes? Are you talking cane and Abel? Why, yeah. No, 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 no. Where, where is it? Yeah, oh, where? I don't know if I want to. I can't say it on the podcast. Yeah, it's from oh. a movie. Oh, it is? All right. Well, never mind. What's probably, your, uh, probably a good movie. What's your recovery time? Um, Six to eight weeks, and then three more weeks with the cast, and then I get a boot. But I'm still non-weight-bearing. Right. It still hurts. It's still fresh to put weight on it. But, man, I'll be back soon. Yeah. Have you described? Have you been on a podcast to describe, like, what surgery they did to you and everything yet? Or Yeah, we, just, we talked oh, about okay. it. Yeah, it's it's like three pins on the ankle, a plate, and a bunch of screws on the leg. The ba- the bad thing about the leg is whenever he was putting the plate on, because we thought it was a clean break. That's what it looked like on the on right. the X ray. The thing is that whenever he put the bones together and put the plate, the rest of the bones were splintering off. Oh, so he was putting screws in, and then it was breaking off on on the ends. Oh, so they just made it worse before they made it better. Yeah, so then mm-hmm. that's why it, that's why it's such a big incision on the on the on the leg part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining the conversation they were having, like, Ooh, better. Yeah, well, that's all right. We'll just go a little higher up. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what the surgeon was saying. He was like, "You should just, you should have been there. You should have been this." I was like, "I was there." Just putting, yeah, just, just putting leg bolts into his leg. Oh, that'd be awesome, dude. How long were you? Yeah, how long did you did you fight the? Um, nah, dude, the, I was I was out. He was out. I was gone. Oh gone. yeah, you drove him to the surgery. Yeah. Yeah. It ended up taking like two hours longer than it was supposed to. Dang. Yeah. And then he got, he got out. <laughs> it was just spouting nonsense. <laughs> like my mask was sitting, because we're in the hospital, we had to wear masks. It was sitting next to him. And he picked it up, looked at it, looked at me, and just tossed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need, get this out of here. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember the doctor telling me when I, they were replacing when he found out that I had uh, torn some of my tendons because he thought, oh, wait, just figured it was a bone chip down there. So I grabbed it with the forceps and I went to pull it, but it was stuck to something. So he goes, so I waited a second, you know, thought maybe it's just, you know, caught on something. So I pulled it again and your pinky kind of, oh. kind of changed. So he thought, so I'm not going to lie. I waited a second to make sure, you know, because I was trying to think through all the options. Then I pulled it really hard one more time. <laughs> like, I was just imagining just if I was doing surgery. I'm like, I think it's still in there. Like, I, I, don't know. I just put it back, you know. <laughs> just, just, just close it up. Surely this will heal on its own. Um, yeah, I don't know. Have you guys ever had surgery on anything? Ever? What have you had? Your collarbone. Yeah, just that plate. Yeah, that's all right. Carson? I've never broken anything besides like toes or fingers. Oh, we should not. You should not have said that out loud. Can't put that kind of energy out there. I've said it a lot. Oh, all right. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna get hurt. Ah, yeah. I mean, maybe you never know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah could, maybe not. Probably not. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it'll all. It'll all be good. But yeah, it'll be nice to have Carlos. Yeah, it'd just be nice not to have to wait on you anymore. <laughs> It takes forever to limp yeah. around on those things. Actually, you're fast. Carlos does do his dangness to keep up with everybody. You're get, you're getting pretty good with crutches. I don't. It's not a good thing. I hate the. <laughs> ra- I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad that we haven't taken the time to construct you a better ramp to your container yet. Hey, I got that hop down. Yeah, you do now. There, but yeah. there was a while there where you were just like teetering on this little tiny <laughs> motorcycle ramp. I remember the first time I saw it. Is that how you've been getting up there? Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, Carl is just yeah. balancing. <laughs> it's like two feet. <laughs> it is not wide enough for that. But, eh, you know, got to take risks. 
Columbus did. Ugh, turned into Donnie. Uh, yeah, well, 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 that's good. How what have you been doing in your spare time? I've been reading that book you gave me. Oh, that book, Gold Buckle? Yeah. That's an awesome book. That's a good book. You guys should book. definitely read that book. We'll talk more about it. I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> it was good. It was yeah, good. That's awesome. yeah, really good. It's an awesome book about bull riding. This guy, after Lane Frost died, he traveled around with Ty and Tuff and, and all those dudes. And uh, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty it has, cool book. It's cool. a good way to put bull riding. Like it, yeah. He uses a bunch of adjectives that I wouldn't use. I guess maybe he's not a bull rider, but he just yeah he sees it from the audience's perspective. Yeah. Anyway, it's called Gold Buckle. I can't remember the author. We'll bring it up on again another podcast. That's good. Also, you're apparently a wicked good Call of Duty player. From oh, yeah. what I understand. You, I have you just been hiding this skill this whole time? I just haven't been in front of it lately, you know? Nobody's given me the control. <laughs> he gets in the zone. <laughs> how do you how do you know? Like we were we were at the ranch doing something and I was driving him around and we went back to the house to grab something. He's like, I'll go with you. And so we go, and he sees the PlayStation hooked up, and he's like, oh, you guys got Call of Duty on here? <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, like, slowly <laughs> eases onto the couch. <laughs> like, I go do whatever I had to do, and I come back. I'm like, hey, I'm heading back to the ranch. He's like, oh, cool, man. And just <laughs> did <laughs> not care. Did not ask to go with. Yeah. And we get back, like, two hours later, and he's just same place I left him. <laughs> in the zone. <laughs> Do you do you talk a uh, do you like talk to the people on there on the headset? Oh yeah, man, I talk a bunch. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, and and then when they don't talk, that's the best because I make I look for them. I'm like, call it 32. I know you have a headset. <laughs> Just <laughs> calling them out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> playing Call of Duty? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Do you, do you ever? You guys ever? Are you good enough? We could start a Twitch channel. I'm sure I could get there. Like, I don't. I have never watched anybody's Twitch. Twitch, for those of you who don't know, is a streaming service. I think you can pay to watch other people play video games. Um, sounds kind of boring. I don't really get it. Maybe it's awesome. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm rusty right now. Like I, if we recorded one night, like right now, I'd probably go twelve and two. But we can get it to like twenty fives and threes. Like. We can get that. I don't that's, know what. I don't 12, know. What, that'd be like twelve kills and two deaths. Whoa, really? You're that that's good where at, at this? That's where we were at when on the couch. What? But who's the next best? One of you guys? No. Nah. I played a lot in college. I was never good, but all my yeah, buddies played, play. and we yeah. would just like have our headsets on and play, <laughs> right? And just like BS, and it was fun. Uh -huh. I think our next option for video games is you with Red Dead. Yeah, for sure. First of all, that's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. <laughs> 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 I remember. Yeah. You I'm, came over and you were like, "Oh, put Red Dead," and you start. You were just insanely good at it. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't really want to yeah. hit this, but I'm pretty good. At it. Yeah. it was like one of those deal, like you play till you die and just pass it on. Yeah. Never die. <laughs> like, oh, never Forty five minutes yeah. on this deal, dude. Because that game, that's just me living like my absolute fantasy. You know, not just think about it. Like you've never just wanted a bunch of, you know, like. I, I don't know. Most of the time I play that game by myself. I just end up riding through the woods hunting. It's just you know? the ultimate freedom. Absolutely. Like, it is. Yeah. Well, you there's know, there's no consequences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, no, it's, that's one of my, that's one of my, that's, that's the only game I'd need. If I was to ever buy an Xbox, I would buy an Xbox, you know, and a TV and a headset and I would only buy that game and I would never need another one. That's that's what I, I don't did. know. I think GTA is so funny. Dude, by the time I got done playing Red Dead Redemption 2, I bet you the third one will be out, which is like 10 years from now. I played the heck out of the first one. Yeah, I played yeah, the first one. That was fun. Yeah. I don't know. I remember, I guess in high school, I bought an Xbox 360 and Red Dead, the first one, um, because I was cutting weight for wrestling. And wrestling just happens to be, Carson knows this, he was a wrestler. Wrestling happens to be during all of the holidays that you that are, you eat, right? You Thanksgiving know? is the worst. Yes, absolutely. And Christmas time, too. Yeah. Those are some good dinners you miss out. And a bunch, of, apparently, my family, that was the year they started to, dis, they decided to start hosting all these events. <laughs> no, we always um, did, like, oh. growing up. So I always had it at my house. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I would just lock myself in the room, and I bought this Xbox 360, and I remember thinking, ah, oh, this, this will be a good time killer. My little brother took over the Xbox 360. I, you know, I wasn't that, I, I, that wasn't that good at it. So I never really got to, uh, 
yeah, spend a whole lot of time. But, yeah, that's me. It was funny, though, because, like, we'd have this sheet. They did it whenever I was in middle school and then, like, quit doing it when I was in high school. But it was all the high school wrestlers would have a sheet and would have to write their weights on it. And there's this two-day gap for Thanksgiving break. <laughs> like, this guy weighs 132 right here, yeah. but he comes in weighing 137. How like, does this happen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's a li- five pounds. Is a, is, that's a light weight fluctuation. I was, yeah, I remember the worst year. I remember this. I, I told this story on the radio once. I called into a radio station, and uh, they were talking about your worst Thanksgiving ever. And I remember we were at my aunt and uncle's who had just built this brand new house, and I was I was cutting weight like I was cutting like fifteen pounds or something. And uh, anyway, we get there. Everybody's it's this brand new house. Everything's nice. Everybody's got these super ornate china plates. It's a friggin' feast. They got a pile of food out, and my mom. I didn't want to sit at the dinner table. I was like, let me just go watch TV. She goes, no, this is important. Like, you have to sit at the dinner table. So I sit down at the dinner table, and I just have to keep passing food around. Mm -hmm. And then my mom felt bad for me, so she got a paper plate and put some celery on it and (laughs) handed it to me. And I just remember that was the worst Thanksgiving. Like, just watching all these people gorge yourselves. And I had a plate of celery. For some reason, every like every time we'd have a duel and I'd have to cut a lot of weight, like in a day, yeah. it was always chicken and waffle day at school. <laughs> that was my favorite day. <laughs> you had a chicken and waffles day at school? Yeah, yeah it what was. What that? What? Awesome! It was soggy chicken that probably wasn't chicken and soggy waffles, but I loved them. <laughs> you know what they call bats? Chicken of the cave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that's that's, uh, that's yeah. it was fun though. No, yep. that's funny. Can't do it. So would you just go a whole day without eating but like celery? I mean, yeah. you won't eat some weight. days at all. Yeah, I would eat fiber pills you all the time. Just go dang, twenty four hour fast. I would just get the like a uh, you know one of those jars that or you know containers full of fiber pills with the hunger control, and I would just be chewing on those all day. Eating I, ice helps. I never did that. Right. I would always, I'd always be. Like have a Jolly Rancher and spitting, yeah, trying spitting to lose water weight, you know. Yeah, but eventually, you know, you have to drink water. Uh, but yeah, it's it's tough. You can you can lose a lot of weight, man. You can lose a lot of weight quickly if you want yeah. to. I got to the point where I was like, I could just swish water around in my mouth, and spit it back. Dude, out. Dude, I would torture. I was, yeah, the worst thing. Sorry, we can we get so dry. Yeah, we can get off of this topic. But I remember I would wake up having nightmares of just chugging apple juice. There's, you know, like a really, like a really hard weight cut. Like you have to, I have to float a pound while I sleep. So, you know, so I can make weight tomorrow. And I would wake up in the middle of the night freaking out because in my dream, I just walked to the fridge and just started chugging oh, apple dude, juice. Dude, talk about feeling guilty for yeah, eating. That was, ho- oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> the worst. Your whole, yeah. A lot of people. Ugh. Yeah. I don't, I don't miss it. They don't have weight cuts for, for rodeo though. So, so we're good now. Would you guys. Would you guys still ride bulls if there were weight classes? Think about it. I don't know why you would need to. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, there's no. A, yeah, there's no reason to at all. That's a silly like question. the bulls' weight yeah. would be the bulls' the weight, weight classes. classes. Yeah, you know. I don't know. Yeah, that's on them because big dudes don't really have an advantage. No. Yeah. Or you had to gain weight. <laughs> yeah. There was a kid uh, that wrestled two eighty five heavyweight, mm-hmm. but he weighed dang two eighty five. You you had to be within two weight classes <laughs> if you were gonna wrestle up, right? And he weigh, he was like way less than what he had to be. So before weigh ins, he would just chug gallons of water because he had to like gain weight to be able to, I had wrestle. to be so close. Because he was just like shredded, yeah. And Dang. he was way more athletic than those guys, and he could hang with them. What a life! What's uh what's one other rodeo event you guys want to try? So everybody here, everybody here is bull riders. What's another rodeo event while you're here, or maybe maybe you don't want to try it, but what's one other event you think you might? I think you might dabble in. Willie? I don't know if I'd ever try it, but I really like watching Bronk riding. Is that a Bronk? I think you could. I like watching Donnie. You're coordinated. Yeah. I don't know. But it's cool to watch, especially Dale and Donnie. Yeah. I think you should try. Yeah. Why not get on one? Yeah. All right. Good. We, We can get you on the spur board. Yeah. Let me figure out how to ride bulls first. I say do both at the same time. You never know which, which one you're going to be good at, man. That's you could be a world champion saddle bronc rider. Yeah. Just saying. Kevin? Well, bareback looks the easiest, <laughs> <laughs> least painful event. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. No, like, 
no, what is it? There's no wrists there. Yeah. So, no, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what fashion, but I'd like to get on a bucking horse like one time. A saddle bronc one? Any. Oh, either or. Either or. It don't matter. Just to get we, on a bucking horse. We can get you on a bareback horse. Either way. You might really like it. I doubt it, but. Hey, it could be awesome. It could be awesome. Could be. We can get you on a bareback horse for sure. Awesome. <laughs> All right, think about it. We're we just signed up for something, I think. We're going to write all these down. Well, what are you about to sign up for? <laughs> yeah. You've been talking about this for a minute. To run that paint horse in there. Yeah. No, yeah. I ain't been yeah. talking about oh, that. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Bronk Johnson's been talking about getting oh, on bareback okay. horses. Around a bareback rigging for nah, me. that ain't yeah, me, uh, dog. No, 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 no. Johnson came around. No, I wasn't. Ain't that right. Then we can get Bronk Johnson on a bareback horse. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Hey man, so I would I would <laughs> definitely like to get on horses, like try it, like kind of like what Kevin said. But man, when we were shoot dogging that steer, it was pretty. That fun. was so much fun. Like I think bulldogging would be fun. He's got the frame. He gets, yeah, gotta do he's got to do a cycle. Steer wrestling. Got to do a cycle. Yeah, that's what cycle. I'm saying. I got the frame for it. All I got to do is get on some gear. <laughs> 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 Just do one cycle. What would miss a steer? Super emotional. Super like, emotional. This guy's deal. <laughs> Did you see him six months ago? He was tiny. What do you think happened? <laughs> what do you think happened? No, that's oh, natural. Uh, that'd be so funny. So uh, hey, we can make it happen. No, you did. You did good. That's your. Although I did think we we might have crushed that steer spirit just a little bit. I don't know if he had spirit to begin with. That I don't think so either. I, he he was like going. Yeah. Your first after that first one, Cole really broke him down. Yeah. 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 I didn't. But the first one, he ran out of there and. Yeah. I. I yeah. I got. I got, I slid him for a hot minute, but um. Within thirty seconds, Cole had him down like four or five times in a row. <laughs> yeah, Cole's good. Like he no, got up I, and then Cole just put him back down again. <laughs> oh, you know, you gotta let him run. You know, like let him. Yeah, but within thirty seconds, you probably put him down four or five times. Well, I'm not I saying it's your fault. It was impressive. I was like, holy crap, this kid's good. In my in my well. In this year's defense, I don't think he had any idea what was coming. I don't no. think he was. Yeah, I don't You're think like he was hurricane. expecting that at all. Um, and also, he said Cole didn't he was think a yard ornament all his life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, was, he was a pet. It was basically, you know, it was like a, a yard llama or something. Bullies throwing him on the ground. Yeah, it was fun though. And, and then that Jordan. Was so much fun. Well, you have and to. Joe like, did it. Yeah. yeah, Jordan did it too. Yeah. So it was it was a good time though. Um, Carlos, what's one event you'd like to you'd like to try? Probably shoot dogging. I want to get on a horse, or maybe what is it? Ranch bronc. Yeah, I'd stock sa- stock saddle's fun. Stock saddle, I tried that. Yeah, I don't understand the physics of that because like it's saddle right. bronc, you got your big yeah. swell. Like, like I get it, like holding yourself in there, right. and then obviously bareback. Your only hope is like, that rigging. But like ranch bronc. and your feet. Is that yeah. just grit? What bareback? Ranch no, ranch bronc. I mean, no. There's guy. You can watch some guys like at the ranch finals and everything. No, those dudes are spurring. In oh, the neck, really? like getting their feet yeah. up there. Oh yeah, yeah. turn their toes out. When we were in Houston, those guys were whooping on them. Yeah, like it was a sa- like saddle bronc. Like they were getting them. I just don't see what keeps what? you in there, other was than I, like oh, holding on to your night latch. Or you whatever. too. Like, yeah, yeah. I, was like say, I don't remember seeing. I mean, in it depends because like down here, nobody. So up north, I guess everybody just ties a rope to their saddle. Oh, you yeah. know, like you, a night you, latch. Yeah, well, yeah, basically the same deal. Um, you just have a, a lasso tied tied next to your saddle horn. You hold on to that, then you got a bronc in your in your other hand. Up here, we were at the yeah in Houston too. Those guys just hold on to the saddle horn. Yeah, I don't know if that was that, that's awesome. Uh, they were getting out of no same same deal. Your spur, I mean, your spur stroke is it's this it's a little shorter, but it's the same thing. Um, you're lifting with your bronc rein, you know that keeps your butt down, and then you're you know you're you're spurring the whole time, keeping in time with them. Uh, yeah, wait do you see, dude? We've seen some good stock saddle riding. Like, I think. I think it's awesome when, I don't know, it's just such a crowd pleasing event. Like it's wild horses. Oh, yeah, wild I think it's the most it. like relatable. Well, and here's like, yeah. for like a fan that doesn't know anything. They're yeah. like, that guy looks like a cowboy. I know what that saddle looks like. You right. know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. It doesn't seem as technical, but I think the, the guys who are good at it, it's definitely just as. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, it's fun. They have it at every rodeo. Everybody always loves the stock saddle riding. Uh, those guys, yeah, you got to be double tough for it. Uh, I would, I think you should 100% try it. Like, I enjoy sticking a horse, like, whenever you get a green horse. Yeah. And it goes to acting up. Not, like, little, not yeah. tippy-toeing, but when it goes to acting up. 
Like you got to get on there. Like you got to you got to set them hips. Absolutely, you have to. Yeah, that's a good time. All right, good deal. So we've got Carson is the only one that wishes he was a timey. Uh, everybody else wants to stay in the rough stock end of the arena. So this is good. This is stuff we can work with. For sh- no, I wouldn't. Well, Bronk Johnson still wants to. Hey, yeah, shoot, break out. bulldogging. Bulldogging is a rough stock event. I don't care what anybody says. It looks pretty rough. Yeah, like you, you have to be tough for that, and you should always be friends with bulldoggers. Bulldoggers are usually the biggest guys at the rodeos. Yeah, you gotta always be friends with them. You never know. Yeah, yeah. You, check out those guns. What's that? Yeah. You brought a weight to the podcast. Oh. Getting ready for the cycle. For those of you just listening, Carson's got what is that? Ten. Oh yeah, hundred. That's a that's <laughs> oh, a. Did ten, you see how many rips? That's a that's ten like pound eight. dumbbell. Yeah. Full what's range. That full oh. range of motion. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> We're pr- oh. yeah. no beating our chest around here. Uh, <laughs> no, that's stuff. No, that's that's good, guys. Um, we definitely work with something. How long do we want this one to be? That's good. All righty. Well, how do we usually end with these? How do we usually end? We cut uh-huh. it here and then we do the intro. Like live? Yeah. Do we do? Live well, we should advice at least on have these? something on our way out. Oh yeah, a joke. Bad joke. Bad joke Monday. What do you got, Willie? I don't have anything right now. On Scott. This will be out on Friday. Bad joke Friday. You don't have one. All right, Kevin, Kevin go. You got a bad joke. Kevin, do it. It's gonna be out tomorrow. tomorrow. Why can't <laughs> two elephants go swimming at the same time? Why? Because they only have one pair of trunks. Nice. Ah, Bingo. <laughs> <guy. laughs> all right. That was a good one. That's I think that's good enough that's for everybody. Yeah, that was, that's that all was of our good time. enough for everybody? Yeah. Oh, all righty then. You, Unless, you sound like you have one you want to say. Yeah. Let's hear it. Yeah. yeah you Dude, got I remember you a scratch? joke this guy always tell me that I never thought was funny, but he yeah. always laughed at it. Go ahead. How can you tell... If an elephant has been in your refrigerator, the door's open. There's footprints in the oh. butter. What? Yeah, right? This guy thought that was a hilarious joke. I still don't get it. Apparently, back in the 60s or whatever, there was a phase of elephant jokes going around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you have an event you haven't tried yet? Oh, you yeah. To try? That I haven't tried? Yeah. I never, Rodeo. I never did calf roping, but I don't really want to try it either. So you pretty much... Tried every Entered lots of them. Cole has barrel raced. Yeah. I didn't win. Team rope? <laughs> yep. I entered a team roping once. Just once. Did good, though. Missed my dally. Did you ever fight bulls? No. Right. You started off riding bulls, didn't you? Yeah, like, ju- like junior bulls and stuff. Yeah, not, I mean, barely in high school at all. I wouldn't even say I say I tried it. I always, I wanted to be a bull rider for a long time. I didn't want to ride bulls. Like, you know getting on junior rodeos and everything, I was terrified of it. But then for some reason, bareback riding just never seemed that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't add up. <laughs> I remember the first time, the first bareback horse I got on in Lake Chelan, I spurred over that horse's neck and I was just side, like, so both both feet on one side of the horse, my head hanging off the other. And I was just laughing hysterically <laughs> at how much fun I was having. And um, <laughs> you're a psychopath. I remember I just like, I just, oh, whatever. And I just sat, I just sat straight up, just swung a leg over and everything. And uh, yeah, I, I had so much fun for it. I, I love bareback riding. Um, I, I always will. I think it's a great event. I think you guys really cared about your body. You just, yeah, you really, you really just start bareback riding. Um, if you're smart about it, you can stay healthy. Yep. Well, that's advice to that's advice to close on. I think. Thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Little Old Sons podcast. Uh, we'll be back next week, but until then, um, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>